Okay, so the role, I think I guess sort of get where the marriage went. So she got all upset that, was she having sex with you uh, at the time that you were having the emotional affair? No. Right. No, so and, there's no sex, no intimacy, no prospect thereof. And then if you start to find any solace uh, in the uh, affections or intentions or attentions of another woman, uh, suddenly you're just a monster who's unfaithful and blah, 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 right? And um, uh, to me, um, uh, either partner not providing sexuality in a relationship is infidelity. That is infidelity. Now, just before everybody piles down my throat, uh, I, let me just give you a very two-second reason as to why. I'm not saying you owe anybody sex or anybody owes you sex, but if you're married, marriage is sex. Marriage is sex because that's what the vows are about. Can you lend money to a friend of yours when you're married? Yes, you can. Can you lend your penis to someone when you're married? No, you can't, right? Can a woman um, a sleep over with a female friend of hers who's sick? Absolutely. Can she sleep over with a fertile man who's sick uh, or not sick or in the same bed? No, she can't. Marriage is the naughty bits rubbing together until the spark and fire of a new generation is lit alight, right? Marriage is sex. Now, if, let's just say in your situation, so if the woman is not giving you sex and is not actively working on why and how and sorting it out and figuring it out and so on, then she is breaking the marriage contract. The marriage contract is sex. That's what it's fundamentally about. Because we know that if two people are living together, and they are not having sex, they're roommates. And so if you have devolved in your relationship from sex to non-sex, then you have broken the contract called marriage. Now, I'm not talking about people who are sick or erectile dysfunction or whatever the hell's going on. I'm talking about the intention and working on trying to have sex. If you're in a sexual relationship and you are not providing sex, for what, I mean, for non-legitimate reasons, right? Like you're in a body cast or something. If you're in a sexual relationship and you are not providing sex, you are not in a sexual relationship. That is unfaithful to the very essence of what marriage is. Marriage is sex. And the effects of sex being human beings, right? It's a big person's game that makes real life people. That's what you need the marriage contract for because there's no way you get you don't get alimony from your roommate, right? And roommates split the bills, right? And so marriage is a very complex mishmash of sexuality and baby making and resource production and resource consumption, but it fundamentally predicates on sex. Nobody really gives a shit how the living arrangements of roommates are worked out. But when it comes to marriage, it's fundamentally around sex. Now, if a woman then starts withholding, Sex, sex from the man and doesn't try and figure it out, doesn't talk about it, doesn't go to get therapy, doesn't try and figure out how she can overcome this, work with him, talk with him, all that kind of stuff. If the woman withholds sex from the man, she is being unfaithful. She is breaking the marriage contract. And I will go further and say that if the woman is breastfeeding the man's child and the man withholds money from her, he's being unfaithful to the marriage because the money for uh, babies is kind of the, the resource transfer, right? And so if you say, well, my wife wasn't having sex with me and then I ended up unfaithful, I personally would not agree with that. I would say that first your wife was unfaithful in a very practical sense and then you ended up being kind of unfaithful in a very abstract sense, right? With the friend, uh, with the uh, emotional affair stuff. Does that make any sense? Yes. Withholding sex is breaking the marriage. Without sex, there is no marriage. There are annoyed roommates facing away from each other in bed, but there's no marriage. So I'm sorry that's, about all of that. 